of it here. <laughs> now, um, every time I've seen you fight, you had a lot of uh, speed, power, uh, athleticism. Uh -huh. your, your opponent wants to come back and, and fight you again. Um, what makes you think she wants to take that fight again with you? I think, you know, the people enjoyed the fight. They thought it was exciting. Um, the opportunity arose. So, you know, we were like, cool, let's do it. And let's do it here in New York. And uh, Brooklyn is pretty rad. It's my first time over here, so I'm pretty pumped. Now, um, they stopped the fight in, in the previous fight we had. Uh -huh. Are you going to try to do a little bit quicker or try to get a signature knockout out of this fight? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's always what we're looking for as a fighter and a boxer to entertain the crowd and light up the stadium. So I'd definitely be looking for that, but I'll be working what we've been focusing on in the gym as well and uh, put on a good show for everybody. You know, it's my first time here and I want to excite everyone and just give all my energy to the whole stadium and get everyone pumped. So make sure everyone's tuned in. Now, for people who aren't familiar with your fighting style, what can you tell them, you know, overall? For uh, I would say it's uh, energetic, it's um, it's super exciting, and every every time I fight, you know, people are like, oh, that was the fight of the night, so, you know, um, it's fast, fast pace, it's, uh, you know, you can get in there and battle it out, or you can box on the outside, so we got it all. You're also a model? I'm a lot of no. <laughs> Maybe uh, sometimes I've done a little bit of stuff like when I used to skateboard and stuff like that. I've done photo shoots and a couple of magazines. So yeah. And how do you keep yourself so you don't get hit? That, that must be uh, well, a high priority so you don't get uh, any, any scars. But you know what? That's the art of boxing. You know, like Mayweather says, you don't get hit so we can stick around a bit longer. <laughs> That's true. The movement, you know. Yeah. There was a, there was a fight with you with uh, Brenda Flores. A lot of people thought yeah. that you actually won that fight. Yeah. And seeing that the fact that you're having a rematch here is the Brenda Flores fight that you won. And do you think she would want to run that back with you? You know what? I, it doesn't really phase me. I know that uh, we won that fight, and there was a big controversy over it. Uh, you know, the California Commission got involved and things like that. It is what it is. Uh, but you know, I'm looking forward and looking for better fights and. I guess whatever Elvis uh, brings up, then we're going to get in and do what we need to do, you know, take care of business. Lulu, you look like an absolute savage in that ring today. <laughs> what is your prediction for the fight? The prediction? Yeah. Pain! <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. That's it. <laughs> no further questions. Yeah. <laughs> How's your weight doing? Wait, it's good. I'm on point. We're good. What does it look like? Looks great to me. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, you know, in your division, there's a lot of world champions, you know. Yeah. Is there anyone that specifically that you want to go after, seeing the fact that you are one of the faces in the, in the division? You know what? Well, after this fight, I'd like to fight Fabiana. Um, you know, I, I would like that to be for, for the ring belt. And, you know, anywhere from uh, 102 up to 112. We, uh, I won the WBO at the 108 light flyweight, so we're looking at just making good fights, exciting fights for the fans, and um, you know, make sure that we're giving everybody a good show and make sure it's exciting. And you know, uh, Sinisa Strad is there, and Marlena Spaz is up a little bit higher, and I think they're all pretty big fights for the future. Now, um, we start, I started this off by saying the strong, uh, the strong takeover. Do you have any like relations with Dennis Hogan and any predictions in that no, part? No, I actually don't. Um, I believe he's Irish, so... Oh, my, I'm so silly. I'm not going to see that. I'm so silly, don't <laughs> um, No, I, I haven't met him. I've been working over here for the last couple of years with my boyfriend Elvis. Yeah. Um, I'm from the West Coast as well, so it's yeah. pretty far away. It's like, you know, it's like here, New York and uh, Cali, so... Um, I don't really know those crew, but... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm grateful that they're all here and they're going to put on a good show with Charlo, so it should be exciting. I mean, it comes to fight, so... You, you mentioned West Coast, well, Andy Ruiz and Anthony Joshua, Ooh, do you have any predictions We all like that? that one, right? Um, I think, I think Andy Ruiz is, uh, he's got the speed, the power, the confidence after the first fight. Um, I think that, you know, he just is, can be awkward for these bigger guys if they're not on the outside boxing the way that they should be. So it's going to be, I, th I still think it's 50-50, it's heavyweights. So when you're talking heavyweights with that power, it's always going to be 50-50. So, but you know, I like to see the, I like to see him get up again because he's, he seems really humble and he's for the people, so. Last question, guys. Uh, what do you make of that adjustment from when he landed on Saturday? Does it look like his confidence finally up there, or does he feel like kind of questionable? I don't know. I think like some of his confidence. He's been in a lot of wars, you know. Like all it, like a lot of his previous fights have been like 
tough fight, so I'm not sure where his mental is. I saw I saw some of his uh, media workout, and you know I was like, where's the energy at? You know, it's a big fight, big money, give the crowd some excitement. You know what I mean? That's that's part of our job as well as a boxer to perform and entertain and give everybody something to smile about. So I will see. I think Andy's a lot more confident than uh, Joshua. Yeah. Thank you. Do your fans. Yeah, I'd like to just uh, shout out to everyone around the world that's watching, tune in, all my Australian fans, uh, family, um, I love you guys, without you guys I can't be here and this is what makes a, makes a superstar. And I'd also like to um, say hi to Eli and Estelle, my two children, who are back there and happy birthday to my daughters coming up. So I love you guys so much and I'm really thankful for the PBC, uh, my boyfriend Elvis Grant making this all possible. Um, Louis de Cubis Jr. and Al Heyman for uh, putting this little woman on the show. Thank you, Thanks, Louis guys. Appreciate it.